Hi, I'm Matt Bingham. Welcome to the lovely Tunnel Barn Farm. And I'm going to show you five of my top tips that helped me break the record with maggots. Bait choices, we've got five pints of lovely white maggots and roughly a pint of red maggots. The red maggots are purely just for a hook bait, for putting in the band, and white maggots are for feeding. To be honest, maggots is, is by far the better choice down to how they fall through the water. Pellets and ground bait tend to be slightly more slower in when you're trying to bag up. And my choice would be maggots every time and five pints is the maximum you'd probably need to get a big weight every time. Okay, so I have four different top kits to do my shallow fishing. I have one set at 18 inches, one at 14, one at 10 and one at six. And six inches is the lowest amount of depth you can have here at, here at Tunnel Barn. So the first rig, the 18 inches, is a Drennan 0.2 dibber float down to a bulk of five number 11s and a no 11 hook length of power line down to a, a KKMB 18 hook with, I don't know if you can see, a banded red maggot just there. And then moving up, we've got another Drennan dibber float down at 14 inches, 017 main line to, with a bulk of an N011 power line again with an 18 KKMB in a band, same again single red maggot. Down to the next one is uh, a frenzy inline uh, dibber float with another bulk of 017 main line, 011 up length again, 18 KKMB with a single red maggot in again. All of these are on uh, nine Preston Hollow, which is absolutely perfect for when you when you're bagging. One strip out, and it's in the net. And then onto the bagging rig. This is this is the main one. We've got ten Jora Hollow down to 017 main line with a little P float, no shot down the line. But the main plan of attack for this is the double maggot. The double maggot in the band at that depth seems to be so much better than a single maggot due to when you're chucking your maggots in the water, when you've got say 20 maggots around your float, that double maggot you can pick it out straight away and it's absolutely bang on. The most important thing about when you're shallow fishing is your feeding pattern. The main, main attack is straight in couple of slaps to make a bit of noise, roughly 20 maggots, straight in, a little slap over and hopefully it should go under, just like that, beautiful. Once you've hooked your fish, another 20 maggots while you're shipping back, keep an eye out for swirls or any water movement that's happening while you're playing your fish. Concentrate on netting your fish because that's the most important thing. Keep watching, no need to chuck loads of bait in. Keep watching, check your hook bait and make sure you feed again before you go out. Make sure your rig's settled nice straight back out again couple of slaps and just repeat the process no need to make things difficult 
It's keeping it really simple. Just keep the rhythm going. And you can just keep catching all day. All you need is just to keep a steady trickle of bait going through the water. You know, say if you're fishing 10 inches deep and you've chucked maggots in and it would probably take five or six seconds for it to go past that water column. And if you've chucked, say, 60 maggots in, they're still gonna follow that bait down. So if you chuck in, say, 15 to 20 maggots in, they're not, they're not gonna follow the bait down. They're gonna stay up right next to your hook bait, which makes them want to feed more. You know, you only wanna give them the, the limited amount of bait to get a bite. Okay, so there's two, two ways I like to ban the maggots from 10 inches down to 18 inches. I like to use a single, single red maggot. I think the idea behind that is when, when you've thrown your maggots in and you've got all the white maggots and then you slap over a red one, it just gives you that extra little advantage for when it's falling through the water. And I think any edge you can get to get an extra 10 fish over the period of five hours is gonna better your odds on winning the match. And the other way, I like to uh, ban the maggots, is when I've come up shallow to six inches, is to use a double. And that, that's purely down to when the fish are going crazy and swirling in your peg and you've chucked, chucked your bait in and they're all coming up for it, a double maggot stands out second to none against all the other white maggots that are falling through the water. So without a doubt, the shallower you come, the bigger the hook bait, the deeper the go, you want a single. So the next top tip is how you need your tackle set out perfectly for when you're hooking, playing and netting a fish. You need your elastic set perfectly, nice, nice and soft but also got enough, enough power in it so you're not messing about pulling loads of elastic out all the time. Nice short kits so it's perfect, your rollers are set perfectly so all you've got to do is a couple of pulls Keep the tip low, lift, and it's in the net. And all you've got to do is repeat the process every time. Just keep it in a nice steady rhythm, and it should put a few more fish in the net. So there you have it. There's my five top tips for catching more F1s.